viewers and subscribers you're welcome back again this is bvi channel one where we tell you undiluted truth the truth you cannot get from bbc and when a government decides to shun out lies from both sides of their mouth i wonder how they expect the people to continue playing along with them forgetting that this is a new age where every secret is made open you can't control the truth sometimes i wonder if it is bbc that is writing the script for government or the government is writing the script for bbc why am i saying this after the bombing in kanu BBC came up with a report that, oh, it was a gas explosion. No investigation. Government bought into it. And they're shunning it out. Including security operatives, as alleged. Taking the position it was gas explosion. Whereas people there, the eyewitness there, confirmed that it is a suicide bomb attack targeted at my own people highly dense population of my people in Sabon Kenu. we saw the gruesome video I'm not going to show you here the children the school that was attacked perhaps in connection with the spillover effect of what happened in Sokoto why would my people always be the target and victims? And you call this thing a country? You call this thing a country? My worry is the BBC that will always carry about fake news, and the federal government working hard to bring down fake news are now the peddlers of fake news. Now, thank God, Arise Television had to go on the street and get the information directly from eyewitness. Panic and chaos in Sabongiri area of Kano State after an explosion brought down the building close to a primary school. Many people are feared dead as human parts are evacuated by officials of the Red Cross and Civil Defense Corps. I am standing on the rubble of a collapsed building in Sabon Geri area of Kano State. Those living around say about nine bodies have been recovered so far. They are angry with the state government for saying the incident that happened here was as a result of a gas explosion. Speaking exclusively to our rise news, they say it was a bomb blast. The incident that happened was to take the life of this student but god intervened it was a suicide bomber that came and i want you to pass this information across the way i'm telling you now it was not gas explosion it was a suicide bomber we saw him so that is a fact but god intervened after our assembly in the morning i was in a class teaching the student and all of a sudden we heard a sound and on reaching here we saw the explosion and some dead bodies around. And what we are hearing in the news now that the government are saying is a gas explosion. Why what we saw and the sound we hear is a bomb blast sound. As an engineering student, I know what is gas and I know what is bomb explosion. So I don't see the reason why the government will be telling us that this is a gas explosion where we know the truth. So I don't know if they are trying to cover their shame or trying to cover their insecurity in, in the state. The Kano State Commissioner of Police visited the scene to assess the level of damage. He said the explosion was triggered by a gas cylinder and not a bomb. That is the EOD personnel. You know, if you can see, uh, they said it was an explosion, bomb explosion, but sincerely, it's not bomb explosion. It's gas cylinder explosion. After concluding just search and rescue operation, the National Emergency Management Agency say that the nine bodies have been deposited in the morgue at the Armed Forces Hospital, Kano State. NEMA officials insist that the blast was triggered by a gas explosion. Those people are no experts. 
and uh, you know there was EOD of the police department, that is the police section. They made the investigations, they investigated the place very well, and they found evidence that showed that, that shows that it's a gas explosion. Because it's a welding shop. Has it bunking that that place is a welding shop? They are not. Residents of Sabungiri area are calling on the state government to thoroughly investigate the cause of the explosion. But the state government is cautioning citizens to desist from spreading false news and remain calm. And that is it. That is the simple truth. That is the simple truth. The same way BBC, if you forget, let me remind you. From the interview I made with the late Bullier, where he said that it was BBC that reported that the first coup in 1966, led by Nzogo, is Yubo coup. And that was what snowballed into the genocide war that took more than 3 million lives of my own people. Up to today, they swept it under the carpet. The same role they are playing today. Spelling fake news. The question is, why? What is the intention and mission of BBC in this part of the world? Oh, for a long time, they have run Alsa, BBC, and the rest of them. All of a sudden, they decide to now bring it down, narrow it down to Yoruba, Pigeon, and Yubo BBC, and the rest of them. I just hope my people will depend on their own voice. That's why BVI Channel 1 is here to give you a voice. Not to um, feed you with propaganda and emotional sentiment. No, but to tell you the truth the way it is. So that our people will be able to tell our story by ourselves. You don't allow your enemies or your manipulators or your oppressors to be telling your own story. So my people, you can see that we have come a long way to serve our people. We are committed in this service. The least you can do is to support our efforts. We may not see everything that you like the way you like it, but we are here as a platform to bring a community of our people to share ideas and ensure that our people are properly informed. And that is my commitment. And I will not relent. I'll do my best as the voice of the people, the voice of God and the voice of our ancestors to inform you the best way I can in truth and honesty. That is all I want to bring to you. Drop your comments on the comment section. And I want to also remind you that I'll be publishing a protest of our people, the IPOB members that have protested in um, uh, BBC um, office in London. Okay. They went there to protest. I will be publishing that video on a raw note. Okay. So look out for it. And also make your comments on that video. I'm signing out from here, all right? Stay safe at all time, my people, and embrace the truth coming out from BBI channel. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Bye-bye for now.